Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Endless Legends, the Broken Lords. We are currently milking the crud out of our enemies by murdering all of their units because they keep coming into my land to try and fight my Urken, which means we get a lot of dust for killing them. As well as just, th just throwing them back a little bit. I think it's hilarious the roving clans had the audacity to close their borders to me as if I did something wrong when really we all know they're the ones who are trying to attack me, quite literally. Um, one question I have is, do we want to just go ahead and buy out the Settler? And I think the answer is yes. We'll buy that guy out and start producing, let's say, some riders or something. I don't really know. We don't have enough uh, materials for much more than this, though. We've kind of used up all of our goodies. I think we may settle up over here in Hellcrest. I've been doing a little bit of looking around. And it's kind of one of the only regions that actually has anything valuable. Um... As far as a couple of anomalies being kind of close together, lots of good value off of those for production. Some dust in the area, a long river we can use, and some adamantium, and some moonleaf. It's not just terrible. One thing I would really like is to be getting a lot more strategic resources, whether that be glass steel or titanium. I'm not really picky about which. Um, in fact, I'm actually tempted to go ahead and move Kazar down over here, but... We'll see. Like, I, I need so many more strategics, and we just don't have enough. It's so important to get those. We didn't get lucky this particular game with a lot of really good strategic uh, areas. Alright, we're going to spam and try to kill the Guardian before we can steal my pearls. Die, 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 please. I'm spamming like crazy. Come here. Let me kill you. Thank you. Okay, hang on. Minimize. Um, You. Move this way. Catch him. Ca ca catch him. Catch him. Catch him. No! No! Ah, okay. Missed him. He's hiding up here in the dark. Smart puppy. Alright, that's fine. We'll get him eventually. People keep spying on me and trying to screw with my stuff. I really don't like it. You're wounding him, which is great, but... It's not enough. Alright, we got all that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take the... You know, I'm gonna take the stalwart here. I'm gonna start marching down this way. I've never explored here, and I want to know what's there. And the settler, yeah, we're gonna take you, and we're gonna move up this away. We're gonna try to go for a really a good city over here. We just need to be expanding, man. That's what we need to do. And in fact, I kind of think we're not going to go for the endless mechanisms yet. We are going to backtrack and go for the central market. Also, the fire ship. They should be pretty quick for us. Uh, a lot more approval is going to make a big difference, though, as far as my ability to continue expanding. And if we could get some more eyeless ones or something in the Empire, you know, that would be very nice. Um, there are some not outrageously far away, aren't there? Well, that's Temple Ruins. Who do we have here? Garin. I thought there were more. Is it you? Sisters of Mercy. Maybe we got all of them. Ursi's over here are extremely tempting. Because y'all know how much I could really use some uh, ranged units. But anyway. Alright, so we want to fight a Guardian. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. Now one thing I'm noticing here is this is a terrible place to fight him. Because he gets to sit back on a cliff and do nothing. So what I'm actually going to do... It's probably back all of the units way far away. I want him to come toward me. He has a ranged mind control ability. Which in theory can become a big problem if I'm not very careful. So I want him to move forward and I'm not going to do anything. Right? I'm going to have you guys like move here and then hold position. Have you guys move forward and hold position. Hold, hold. I just need him to move. That's all that I need. He's probably going to get his mind control off anyway, but still. I don't know how I'm going to get him, actually, now that I think about it. If he comes out here, for example, and he can still reach me, like, what are we going to do? Maybe we need to back up even further. Is that the solution? Stay very far back? Okay, there's his attack. He failed, it looks like, for the mind control. So we're trying to draw him out so I can surround him and get some hits off. Okay... You hold position, move. Hold position, move. Come on, buddy. Come toward me. There we go. All right. Now I feel like we can surround the sucker. Oh, he mind controlled my hero, didn't he? Ugh, that's really scary. All right. Militia, hero, riders, riders, dust bishop. You'll be attacking. Basically, I want everybody to be attacking right now. If possible. Your mind controlled for how long? Does it say? Yep, mind control for one more turn. Ugh. He could do some serious damage. 
He's trying to kill the hero, too. All right. Sure. Well, the riders at least can get in there and do some good damage. It's not too bad. All right. Some more stalwarts. Not bad. Uh, we're getting attacked by the hero. Blah, 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 blah. Dust Bishop was not able to get in a position to heal said hero. Didn't do anything anyway. You're going to sidestep over here. I don't think anything really changes. Just please don't freaking kill my hero. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We can survive it. Alright. It's not a lot of damage, though. I mean, he's he's got a lot of health. We may not be able to kill him this, uh, this fight. Depends on what my heroes can do. 64? Okay. There we go. A little bit of healing helps. Would love to move you the heck out of here. He's gonna kill the hero. Not quite. Got close. 75 more damage. 74 more damage. 54. Hey, okay, never mind. Maybe we got him. He's got negative morale. Like, a lot of negative morale. So the hero just died, but he's got last stand. And you're gone. Alright. Cool. We kill the guardian. So we lose nothing except for the hero getting injured. We get uh, presumably a fair bit more dust. I'll heal you later. Let's go ahead and run down and grab these pearls, since I really have not been doing anything with my pearls. Like, at all. We've got plenty of them. What can we do with them? Let's think. I don't need any of this. I mean, hang on. Immunity to winter vision penalty. 10% more in city. It's not too bad. There are some that are really good. Um... Like, an Abbey of Anomalies can be nice. You know, I wouldn't mind unlocking this blessing. I don't need armors and weapons made out of pearls. Uh, terrain during winter is okay. Food during winter is irrelevant. More strategics. Yeah, I'll pick that up. And then probably a luxury intensifier as well. Alright, so that uses up a bit of my pearls, which maybe I can actually buy or build some really good stuff in my cities now. I don't know. Alright. Um, I guess we'll keep roaming and killing things with these armies, because killing things, including minor factions, is going to result in just money for me. Pretty sure. Um, I think that's it, actually. So over here, we wanted to kill these freaking dervishes. So I'm going to run this way. Come on. Come on, we need to catch the sucker. Don't let him go away. Don't let him get away. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Got him. All right, so he's going to have to die. Uh, the settler is still on his way. An Urken has been tamed. I'm not surprised. Let me guess. The cultist? No, light blue. All right, so three different players now have an Urken. Okay, uh, I guess it's better than one person having literally all of them. Signal Core is done, so we have a little bit more military upkeep reduction, and we can get more uh, units in an army. Which will certainly be quite nice. Start moving you guys this way. Apparently the fastest route to get there is a long ways away. What? Is there a reason you are unable to walk through my own city? No, for real. Why, why, why can't I walk through my city? Oh, that's weird. Wait, what the heck is going on? Is there something weird where the Marquis can't go into his, my capital for some reason? Because we don't like him, we have a weird faction? That'd be cool, but I don't think so. Alright, well, we're going to go ahead and do this fight. Um, he's going to have to fight me. And keep in mind, these cavalry are going to be dangerous. Uh, I think I want to move over this away instead. The hero in these positions. A couple of stalwarts move the dust bishop kind of close to the center. We'll have you go over this way. Alright, seems good. Uh, everyone basically dogpile the same units if you can. He's got the initiative, so he's going to get to do whatever he wants with me. Not much of an option. Let's see where he goes. Okay, going for the riders. Going for the riders again. Oh no, please don't kill those. I need those. Those are kind of important to me. On a deep and personal level. 
I thought I told the hero to attack someone different, but whatever. We gotta kill that one fast, so this hero gets to do some more damage. Okay. Wacka wacka. Need to move the Dust Bishop somewhere a little bit more advantageous, I think. I mean, that helps a little bit. The retaliation sucks, but you know. Uh, see if you can move this way and actually hit something. I want to protect these riders, if at all possible. It's a good chance that they die this time, but we'll see. Nope, they survived. All right. Well, wait, I say that. Oh, come on! That hurt. All right, stalwarts and stuff. No, these are militia. Finish them off. Eat them. Dredgers. Woo! All right, that was just a uh, that was just unfortunate, really. But whatever, we're gonna get a bunch of gold. That was technically not worth it because it'll cost me more to just buy out a writer. But we killed more of them, so yay. Let's see. It cost me what to buy a writer? Eight hundred and seventeen. Yeah, that wasn't worth. Highly unfortunate, but I did not expect him to do quite what he did. We can build an Abbey of Anomalies here, but it's not gonna do a lot. Just a couple of dust. Doesn't strike me as that great. It does count as a um, district, so it gets some stuff there. It does double what's on the city tile. We get three more production and two more dusts, but there are better anomalies out here. Like, if we worked closer to, say, I don't know, the life tree, that would be good. Don't you agree? Uh, if I want to get another burrow, we're going to need to buy out a couple of citizens here. It says available every two. Did it lie to me? Alright. No, oh, why can't we build more burrows? What is happening here? Weird things are happening, and I don't think I'm understanding it at all. Strategic intensifier. On the glass deal. Uh, yeah, actually. And frankly, it counts as a really good district. What's this? 13. I forgot. This is the place where you want to be buying freaking districts. Okay, we can place it on one of these anomalies. Uh, between the two, I'm going to have to say I kind of like the rumbling rocks. Yep. And place that there. And actually, we're just going to go ahead and buy them out. Because that's a ton of extra dust that's going to be in the capital city. Tons of dust. Tons and tons and tons of goodies. All right, up over here. Um, anything else? Abbey of Anomalies. We can place one here or one here. Let's see. Massive tree. Mostly for food. Escaped specimens. Again, usually for food. Continue two of these. I think I prefer the tree, so we'll go ahead and place one there. Cost me pearls, but I'm okay with it. You probably can build one, too. And a luxury intensifier and a strategic intensifier. How so? How can I build a strut? Oh, wait. Here. I'm not done with the adamantian. Wait a minute. Why can't I build... Is it because of the burrow? Get rid of the burrow. Strategic intensifier. Place like that. There we go. Buy that. Abbey of Anomalies can get me some really good science and stuff. Like right here, for example. 10 and 2. The Wizard Stone is great, and it's got a lot of approval. My Cordia is pretty good, too. Dust or Science? I think I'll go for the Science. I'm going to place that there, and probably go ahead and buy it out. Can't afford anything else in terms of pearls. We're going to have to go pearl hunting soon. But, that seems pretty solid. I kind of should have done that a while ago, but I forgot that they were an option. Yeah, I don't... Oh, now we can go through the city. That was weird. Alright, let's explore this region. What do we see? Glass steel? Okay. Moss pearls, usually for food. Not that big a deal. A uh, huge 19 pearl deposit. Alright. And uh, a dragon tree, which is actually pretty good. But the positioning of the city leaves a little bit to be desired. Even so. Alright, we're working on that central market. Um, is it wintertime? 
No, not for a good long while, I don't think. Influence on anomalies returns to normal. We should be seeing a lot more dust coming in all of a sudden. With this settler, I'm a little concerned that we might find ourselves in a position of uh, minor factions wanting to kill me, but I'm going to try to push forward here. We will wait one turn, and then I think we're going to settle in one of these areas, maybe right here. Pretty reasonable dust, pretty reasonable science, some areas to expand right on the river. That'll be worth a lot. And yeah, 15% more dust on the city. Absolutely. Absolutely. So how's the capital doing now? Pretty good. 918 dust per turn here. Uh, I'd say that's acceptable. Buy out another uh, citizen or two, probably. We can get another Borough Street. That sounds fun. Let's see. Uh, my fervent approval is solid, so I guess I don't have to worry as much about leveling up districts. 39 dust. Like, seriously... If we just build out in some of these ways, we can get so much value. Like this. 39 more. If we do something like this, we're not even that far off from being able to just level up districts and keep my people happy. However, if we want to work toward this really good luxury, I'd want to build in a bit more of a line. We'll be able to pop the wine whenever we need to, so I guess I'm okay with actually losing some of the approval. Let's start moving the capital city in a line like this. This is what we're going to shoot for. Let's see if it actually works. All right. Um, so, let's see. You losing a unit sucks. Um, does anyone have a spare unit they can throw at him? We can get that Abbey of Anomalies going. I guess we'll go ahead and buy it. Pro Street's there. That's fine. All right. So you are going to roam up to, let's say, up over here. Let's start killing minor factions and just soak them for XP. I.e. gold. Same down this direction. I want to clear this area out. Let's find out what's over here. Silix and stuff, I think. You can move and get the pearls. Okay, hang on. Hyperium. Uh, a princely gift. A wandering draken researcher calling herself Archivist Cheoshale comes to you, iron hands and velvet gloves, be at war with another empire in ten turns. 640 dust. Uh, I don't know if that's necessarily worth it per se. There's a ruin here too. But if I thought I was going to go to war anyway, could make that work. Like, what if I attacked the roving clans? Like, do I think that that's a thing we can make work? Well, certainly in two turns, when I get these Empire plans going, we can, by the way, get some extra approval and influence. So I'm going to go ahead and do some of that. And let's get the gold. So now we're making 2,000 dust per turn regardless. And you know what? Yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and pop the wine now. Let's just be fervent. So that's a lot of extra dust coming in now. I'm liking what I'm seeing. We may want to continue expanding more, honestly. If I could find more eyeless ones, I mean, I would... Wait, this is eyeless ones. We need to settle down here. They're already all, like, happy. And 15 more approval actually means that I can continue just doing my thing. I don't think the Abbey of Anomalies here makes any sense. So, yeah, you know what? Screw it. Settler. And next turn, we're going to buy it. We're going to settle down in this region. We can move the Urken somewhere else. We'll get the uh, titanium and the uh, wine deposits permanently. We'll get more eyeless ones, so I have a ton of approval. We'll start working on something else. Like, maybe we move the Urken down over here or something. I don't know. Titanium and Adamantian. Glass steel and Hyperium is probably better. Titanium and Adamantian over here as well. Gold. Glass steel and Hyperium, but probably too close to the enemy. Actually, yeah, moving the Urken down here is not a terrible idea. Unless the enemy decides they want to just go ahead and land some troops on me, which could totally happen. Prefer that it did not, but it could. Alright, so in the city, once we are done with this whole thing here, thank you. Okay, now we're gonna get. Oh, someone got to air five. Now we're gonna get a settler. Up over here. I'm gonna move right here. Okay, so they are. What? What are they? Kazanji. Okay. So 10, 9, 12. 
I think is solid. Probably as good as I'm going to get in this particular region. So I'm happy with this. Settle. And in this city, we're going to get a lot of the basics. We're going to get the mill foundry. We are going to get the dust dredger. Empire Mint, Sewer, Geomic Labs, Public Library, Right of Way, Canal System. Now the question is, do I make this into a science city? I don't see a ton of reason to make it into a science city specifically. It actually does have a lot of dust production. So probably not. Okay, so there goes all my dust. And then we are going to get a dust refinery going. So that's going to be that for this city. We were not able to quite... We did buy out the settler. Never mind. What am I talking about? We're fine there. Okay. You explore ruins. What can we find? Anything good? 120 dust is okay. Let's find out what else is in this area. You go find things to murder. Also pearls. Seem fine. You move in this direction as well. We're going to go kill some more minor faction villages. One more turn until we have the market villages. We're going to want to be able to buy a bunch of those out. Uh, the city is still fervent, despite the fact that I just settled another city. Still working on the Quicksilver. National museums, I mean, you know, these are things that we can do. It would definitely get me a lot more influence, but it also would cost me some very valuable strategics right now. Which I'm not sure that I want. Let's move on to the next turn. I do need to spend some dust getting my population up in these places. If I am going to be getting things like the Dust Depository... Which, actually, I suppose, if I don't have the Dust Depository, it's not a huge priority to have the population. Because we're not going to have the extra four dust per pop yet. Fireship tech is on the way. Okay, working on the dust refinery. Band of Merriment is done. Excellent, we can have even more approval. Fun. Alright, um, let's see. An Abbey of Anomalies is okay. I don't think there's a much better anomaly we'll be able to place it on than we already are going to have. At the same time, let's see. Let's first go ahead and get this settler, and we're going to move him somewhere else. We're going to move you down over here. Now, this will likely be a science city, because there's not a ton of dust in the area. So the question is, where can I place to get a lot of science value? Probably at the Wizard Stone. And there's also a dust orchid deposit here, so luxury intensifiers are possible. So if I settle, like, let's say right here or maybe here, I'm trying to think where we can also build to expand the city. It can go this way, I suppose. There's a lot of dust orchid in this area. I think we might end up settling right over here. It's not fantastic, but it's probably the best I'm going to get, and we'll have to build this to be a science city. It's not going to be producing much in the way of dust, but that's okay. Probably. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I went the wrong way. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, hang on. So, military plan. Oh, we settled. I forgot. It's costing too much. No! All right. Well, I don't have a choice. I have to do this. Boo! I forgot about that. That's going to finish my faction quest, though. So we're going to be a little bit shorter on dust for a bit. Oh, it makes me sad. I didn't think about that. I forgot, obviously. You expand. You settle some new cities. Costs go up. That is generally how it has always worked since the end of time. All right, we'll grab these, move up to the north probably. Uh, okay, so we have a couple thousand dust we can use. Um, don't need the central market this second. We are going to get the dust depository up and running. We're going to buy it. We're going to buy some citizens. Save the rest? What else we buy, though? Burrow. The capital. I mean, a central market would get me a bit more dust production. Nothing outstanding, though. Um, could produce more influence in the city, I suppose, the capital, but I don't think so. I think we'll have, a, like, a... Maybe we can have an influence, like, specialized city somewhere. No, I don't need this right now. You do, though, because you're not super happy. So if I buy out a central market, we can make you fervent again. 
And that's all that I've got at the moment. All right. Next turn. Set the move command so everyone goes somewhere and does something useful. We're training a bunch of units right now, gearing up for war. I probably am going to want to fight the roving clans. Exotic alloys is done. Your subjects and advisors demand you place the marquee at the head of a city. Done. Pride would have let me refuse the offer, but pragmatism would not. The people got what they wished. Perhaps in the future they will be less excitable. Better weapons. A false repu redemption. Well, that was an entertaining disaster. Strangely, the golden future that the Marquis and his followers promised did not suddenly fall from the clouds. His position is weakened, and I will take advantage of that. Officially, it will be a diplomatic and military effort that I will offer him the chance to redeem his offer. Sorry, his honor. In fact, I send him to pain, if not death, in order to rid myself of him and wrest the artifact from his grasp. In manipulating his downfall, one could say that I am no better than he is. But I do this for what I believe is a necessity. I cannot see a future for my people on the path he has chosen. Perhaps my honor must be sullied so that the honor of my people remains pure. So be it. Vincius has aided me in preparing the ritual to separate the Marquis from his artifact, and perhaps his life. Far from the city, with only a handful of followers, he will be vulnerable and subject to the same forces that he uses to drain others. I find a certain poetic justice in this, though in that sense of contentment at another's distress, I also feel shame. Perhaps that is how the Marquis started down his path. Launch a campaign to capture a reason. Ovuro. 25 Dust Orchid. We found some Fomorians. Fun. I don't... I don't... Y yeah, okay, yes. Wow, that's a lot of Silics. Oh, crap. That's a lot of Silics. Wow, okay. We may need a larger army. I'm not feeling super convinced about that. Um, so, Ovuru. Okay, he's banned me from the market. Which is actually a problem. It also means I probably do want to kill him. Probably. Alright, what I'm gonna do then is uproot the Urken. And move him. We're gonna get ready for war. City? Okay, we do have some approval value at least, so that's nice, from the Wizard Stone. Place you there. Roads automatically seem to be built. That's nice. Mill Foundry, Empire Mint, blah, 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 blah. Uh, canal system, sure. Uh, right away, sure. Bye, bye, birdie. Okay, so all that's bought. We don't have much in the way of gold left. Um, I do want eyeless ones here. We actually start with some pops. I kind of want to get that, because it's cheap, probably going to be cheaper in the long run than buying new people. Also titanium. Get rolling on that. Also wine. Also wine. These are all things we can worry about buying out later, though. Let's get another pop. Dust. Science. I think we'll just get some extra science going. So that city's about to get a lot better. So yeah, um, where can I get more military units? We're, start we're already building out, like, riders and stuff. The Abbey of Anomalies we can place down and get nothing. I forgot. We keep looking at that and getting confused. No, no, no. Not gonna do that. Um, so I suppose now's a good time to be upgrading our units. We will continue with things like the Dust Bishops, sure. But, if we go to our military units and get those Dust Bishops, I would really, really like to upgrade your weapons to Tier 3. So it's going to cost me a fair bit more Titanium, but that's going to be very, very nice. We can also upgrade your armor, which gives you a lot more life. We can also upgrade your trinkets. Uh, we do have Regeneration. We have Improved Life. Uh, it's okay. Um... Regeneration's nice. I don't remember if it works on these guys or not, though. Do we want that? Do we want life? I mean, the improved sharp sense and stuff is still pretty good. Alright, we'll do that. Stalwarts. You need better weapons. Tier 3 two-handeds? Yes. Upgrade the armor. I 
think the same exact deal as far as movement and everything else. Riders. Better spears for cavalry. If we are going to be fighting the um, roving clans, they're going to have a lot of cavalry, and that's kind of it. Armor, armor, armor. And then this was the glory or death, which I do still kind of like, but... We could just improve your life also. I mean, improved life gives you what? 20% life. It's not inconsequential. It's a pretty substantial amount of life. And since these guys are prone to dying, I think I'm okay with that. Alright. Um, so, we need to be upgrading units. I probably want to dedicate the next couple of turns of dust just to upgrading. Spend a lot of my titanium and glass steel. Over here, I do think that I will train up another rider. Make that a slightly higher priority. And then, yeah, uh, if we can get enough really good units together, I think we have to go kill the roving clans. We need to be at war anyway, and I need to take this to continue with my faction quest. So that decision's kind of been made. The city is right here. Uh, actually, well, uh, yeah. I could march through this way, but with all those silix in the way, that actually could become more painful than it's worth. So, yeah, I do think we're going to come down this way. We're going to lay siege the city pretty quickly. Hopefully, we take it before he gets very far. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.